Hey guys, it's Crystal Marshall here with your coaching tip of the day. So I've been seeing all over the place Instagram that's saying it's no longer photo showing app. And for photographers like us, it's such a big blow. But I'm going to give you some of my favorite resources to combat that. And as a photographer, you can grow in uh, creative ways. So some of my favorite apps, I use Quick, which is GoPro slideshow app. I use Video Leap, which is also a slideshow and video maker. I use Beat Leap. Um, I do all of my photos and sessions into video content, whether it be a reel, whether it be an IGTV slideshow, whether it be a before and after. I'm editing on my computer, uh, my favorite editing tricks, um, my gear before and after a shoot. Uh, behind the scenes of me working. There are so many ways to create video content and actually video content is a hundred times more likely to be clicked on, shared, and liked and interacted in any way than a photo. So if you are a photographer, you need to be using video now. About four or five years ago, I decided to not only do photography, but videography as well and I switched to mirrorless, and it was the best decision I ever made. And I got more jobs from it, switching to video and doing some photo as well, but always having a video mindset of doing all of my marketing video base, doing reels, uh, doing TikToks, doing behind the scenes video, doing helpful tricks and tips. I've been doing this for years, starting a YouTube channel many, many years ago with helpful tricks and tips. and. It's been amazing. So if you aren't doing video, this is your sign to do video, okay? Look for ways to be an expert. Look for ways to go live. Uh, look for ways to share your vision, your passion, who you are. Get the phone in front of your face. Don't be afraid of what you look like and what you're wearing. Be real with your clients. Have them get to know you. I remember early on back in 2011, 2012, when I moved into this area and I didn't know anybody, I started creating video content. So I started making um, how-to videos, what to wear to weddings, and I would just sit there in front of my camera really easy and just show some pictures on the screen of some of my work, some of the tricks and tips that I had. I would answer questions. I would go live with people's questions. Um, I did a whole live photography three-day book boot camp for free online. That was huge for a lot of questions. I would send out blogs. I would save that content, put it on my YouTube channel, and start sending it out to my mailing list every week. And so video content is so important for growing your following, looking like you're an expert, looking like you know what you're doing, and people are going to be entertained and share it. Um, if it's a photo, guys, Sorry to say, but if it's a photo, people are gonna say, oh yeah, and then they're gonna swipe. But if it's something catchy, if it has a hook, if it has a call to action button, if it has something they can use, if it has something they can remember, a trick, a tip, a hack, something that is useful content. 80% of what we should be making as creators should be helpful, useful, tricks and tips, and only 20% actually salesy, see my latest work see my latest session, this types of thing. So if you're not doing helpful tricks and tips behind the scenes, how you do stuff, how you build stuff about your work, about who you are, why you started in video content form, you are behind the curve and soon Instagram is going to take away uh, the single photo posting uh, feature very soon. So you need to get on it guys, this is your sign. If you have any questions, I would love to message you, um, DM me, uh, click below for any other mentoring uh, questions. I love answering questions from people. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been doing all sorts of stuff from food to products, headshots to weddings, to photo booths, to video. I mean, you you name it, I'm branding marketing specialist. So, would love to chat with you guys. Have an awesome day. This is your coaching tip. Peace out.